So hello there, two days later we will see whether the females of Saomi or Itzini, the famous Eerie Silk, must already place some eggs inside of this little aerarium, where I not only have the plant Ligustrum vulgare, that I want to feed them later, but also this plant here, it's called Prunus laurocerosus, it's uh, very often used in the gardening to plant uh, some uh, surroundings of houses, they stay green, also in the winter, also in very deep temperatures like now in Switzerland, around uh, 10 below zero, that would be no problem uh, for them, and also that's a good plant to feed to the caterpillars of Thomia Ritzini, because the plant you find everywhere around the towns, in the towns, Whenever you have a uh, Thomi Aritini and you give them Prunus Lauro also you will always find material uh, to feed them. And let's say it's an invasive plant, also in Europe, uh, people don't really like them. Uh, so it's uh, one of the few possibilities to make something um, available out of this plant if you feed it to Thomi Ritzini caterpillars. So let's see what happened. For in this cage here I already harvested some eggs yesterday from one of the females. I just want to show you how I present, I place them into um, a little box like that with some toilet paper here so that it can be quite uh, wet yeah, not wet, humid, uh, the good uh, uh, humidity inside of this case, you see the eggs here, they are laid in groups, they are around 100 eggs now, I just put a little more of this and then I place it inside of this box so that no other animals can come in close to them, and the same I want to do now with, uh, with the other uh, eggs that I can find. If I find some, first I prepare this little uh, thing, just it's the place where I can put the eggs on and now if you have a, a look here in the cage, I will carefully try to take it out because often you find the eggs exactly in the place where the female is. You see them here? This is interesting. So I take away the leaf here and on the knees you can also see the pair. Still mating. It can last for a long time. This mating process 12 to 24 hours that they are connected to each other and then after this is finished, the female starts laying eggs like here, you can see it. It's a group of eggs just uh, presented together. Also in the first stage, the larvae, they feed together. They don't feed uh, singly, but in groups together, so they are also laid uh, together like this. Now, um, I will not try to remove the pair from this this leaf and put them to next to another one that I can put it back and this leaf here I just shorten it a little bit now how many eggs are they two four six it's made look it's made like a pyramid it's very interesting how it looks the base has the most and then it's going up to the top in about one two three four five six seven rows so that might be around 50 eggs here I just put them in like this, and this is for the nice, for the nice parents here. They just are together. And now we try to take out the other cage that I have here, because here also there is a pair inside, and I want to have just a short look whether the female has already started laying eggs. I don't see anything at the moment now here. So they are all whole, 
they are also still connected to each other, male and female here. And I don't see in this cage, I don't see anything like an egg laying that already has happened. So what we have to do, we will have to wait probably till tomorrow and have a look then. So that goes also back to the original cage. That's interesting the, also that that also we have now um, one cage here and the other one I'm playing in putting into this box here adding a little bit more water just that the humidity is high enough now we can staple them that's no problem because there's enough air inside of this and we put also the pair back probably they lay some more eggs I think these eggs the new ones they have been laid by the same female that laid the other eggs yesterday so she probably posited already more than 100 eggs in this cage I would guess it's around 150 now but we, we can count them uh, later exactly don't forget they don't eat they don't drink so it would be a very good idea to always keep the cage in very high humidity especially in winter time when we are heating inside and the uh, air is very dry that's an important thing otherwise they will die in one to two days when it's too dry because they dry out thanks for watching Thank you.